Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the study. Going to be talking about wheat. Yes, the commodity wheat. This has been such an incredible, fun, and exciting story to cover in the markets. And yeah, before we proceed any further, as always, I would like to state that the information in this video is not a recommendation to buy or sell any securities and is for educational purposes only. Also, if you are watching the video, please make sure to tap the like button. That helps me out a ton and it is greatly appreciated. So what in the world is going on with wheat? Well, a lot of traders are experiencing huge gains and returns off of this trade. Well, what if I told you we just experienced the weekly, the biggest weekly gain on record for wheat? You heard that right. I had a little bit of trouble getting that out because it's just such an unusual move and it's a surprise, a massive move that we are experiencing in the markets. Um, you can see here in this article that I have uh, talks a little bit about the move that we're experiencing in some history here. And it's history in the making. Um, so what's the catalyst for this move? Simply, the Ukraine and Russia conflict taking place is going to lead to prolonged disruptions to exports. So on that note, this was one of the main points why I wanted exposure to this trade. Because I did some digging and I found out about 30% of global wheat is from U um, Ukraine and Russia combined. And, and that is a big chunk, almost about one third. Um, a few of my followers also asked me why else did I go with this trade in the beginning of the week. And primarily because of the large role that Ukraine and Russia uh, have in the wheat market. And second, it felt like this specific commodity hasn't taken off to the upside until, well, just about now when uh, we look at all the other commodities, just uh, like materials, oil that everybody just seems to be talking about. Well, you knew oil was going to be a big obvious play, for which numerous investors and traders took advantage of. But what about any laggers, anything aside from the obvious leaders that we could pick out to take advantage of this um, hot commodity rally trend taking place? And well... Wheat stood out from the crowd and it looked like it hadn't made a move. And so you may be wondering, wait, David, hold up. What's a commodity? Um, simple terms. It's a basic good used in commerce. It's exchanged for goods of the same type um, and other goods. And, and it's an open market. You see this in the futures market. And you may be wondering what exactly is a futures market. Well, Without going into too much detail here, here's the simple answer. A futures contract is similar to options trading where you have an agreement to buy or sell something upon an agreed price, right? And that specific time in the future, aka the expiration date. So these are usually commodities or financial instruments such as the SPX or barrels of oil. And the last time we saw an overall rally of commodities was in around the 1970s. And one of my favorite websites or tools I like to use is Trading Economics, which you see right here I have pulled up on my screen. And you go to the markets and, well, you can actually pull up the commodities up here too. But um, I like this frame here. But what I like even more is that you go to markets and you go to commodities here. And although I don't really spend too much time talking on about uh, commodities, futures, uh, but if you're interested, this is a great website to bookmark to play around with later on your own time because it does such a great job of telling you the price, the percent change, gives you the weekly, the monthly, the year over year. It has these different um, subcategories, so energy, metals, agricultural, uh, industrial and and the main point why I am showing this right here is that what do you notice when you look at obviously energy in the big green this is what I was saying earlier everybody was playing this uh, certain um, 
group of commodities to the upside to get that exposure, right? That was the big obvious leader. You also see metals, lithium making a big move with 600% year over year. And then agricultural, very interesting that we're seeing shades of green and then these big green uh, concentrations right here on wheat that we just experienced this week. And now uh, we're seeing corn in play and others and as you go down, you'll see industrial. So this is a pretty cool heat map to check out and get a feel for what uh, commodities are moving and get a better feel for that market. Um, but the main point here that I'm trying to display is that we are getting a ridiculous rally to the upside with all this green and these commodities in this market. And... Um, Again, very cool tool. Play around with it on your own free time. We're going to dig now back into the wheat trade and uh, the chart I have pulled up here. So here we have the chart. I have the wheat uh, here on the daily. And then I have a specific options contract up here, which is the $9 October call. Um, and I have the SPY here on the left hand side just to view the overall market. That's kind of the setup I have. And so the fo two screens I want to focus on here are the options contract and the wheat here. What you will notice is that earlier in, um, in well, you can see these are the daily candles on this specific um, fund, Tecurium, that has wheat futures contracts inside of this uh, fund that you can trade on the stock market. And what is really interesting is that you don't really, s you see that it's steady throughout trading normal movement and then all of a sudden conflict the war, all that, and you have these big pops. And this pretty much happened in the beginning of the week. And this is just um, something very, very unusual. Um, when you saw this pop on Monday, um, you could have established an entry, and that was kind of my goal here with this trade. I wanted exposure to other commodities, knowing that Wheat is very um, concentrated with 30% global supply coming from Russia and Ukraine. Hey, I want to get exposure. We could get these contracts for 75 cents. I know some of you got the 16 calls, uh, which were going for 25 cents, and I eventually reached a dollar fifty. That was impressive as well. That's a uh, well over 200, 300, 400 uh, percent return. Um, and the idea here is if you look at this five minute chart, I'm going to match them up right now. You just have this uh, rally going on. And the next question that I get is, well, if the war conflict continues, right, um, what do we expect? Well, if it drags on, we can expect commodities to be volatile due to the impact of supply and demand, right? And remember, volatility, when you have volatility, it equals uncertainty. And markets, remember, they don't like uncertainty, which could result in panic moves like we're seeing right here with gas, oil, um, you know, even the gas names on the market are making big moves. Your ExxonMobil, uh, BP, all of those guys. And if you're asking yourself, if you're in this trade and you happen to get in around here where um, I got in, which was close to 80 cents, close to a dollar, and you are already up here at about five, or in my case, I cashed out around here, it was 350 or 310, somewhere in between there. Um, if you're up a significant amount on your options call contracts, please do the favor and take your profit while it's available. I mean, these are very volatile, especially in a very volatile market that we are in this year. I've said the word volatile like three or four times right now. I think you get the idea. If you're wondering what I'm doing now um, is that I'm waiting for some sort of a big drop or pullback, which we did see today. Um, and uh, on Friday, this is March 4th, of, uh, finally a pullback, but I'm still waiting to see this cool down because 
this is just an insane move to the upside. Um, I wanted to cash out on the big return. And I'm just going to keep on looking for a possible re-entry. I do think there's going to be pressure, especially the longer this uh, whole Russia-Ukraine situation goes on. I do believe this could be a potential continuing play to capture exposure to a very hot commodity market. So... Um, that's my game plan with wheat. If you guys have any further questions, please let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. You can visit me at thetradestudy.com and I will see you in the next one.